If you are preparing for the campus placement in 2025, one of the crucial steps is cracking the aptitude test. Whether you are aiming for the IT firm companies, core engineering or any financial banking sector, the first hurdle is always cracking the aptitude test and which is most difficult for most of the students. Don't worry. In this video, I am going to guide you step by step how to effectively prepare the aptitude and confidently crack your aptitude test. I am going to discuss three most important topics in this video. Most important topics for aptitude resources to learn aptitude and most importantly how to practice the aptitude topics. So stay till the end of this video to get based out of it. I am Pramod Bosle, working in TCS for Digital Profile since 3 years. Just in case if you are new to our channel, do subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos. Now without any further delay, let's proceed. Understanding the syllabus. So first thing first, know what you are preparing for whether you are preparing for the campus placement or you are preparing for financial banking sector. We all know that aptitude is basically classified into three parts. First part contains quantitative analysis, which contains a topic like probability, percentage, profit and loss, time and work, time and distance. Quantitative analysis is more focused on mathematical skills. Second part is logical reasoning. Logical reasoning contains topics like syllogism, blood relations, directions, and Venn diagram. So this basically contains a logical reasoning whereas the observative part. And third part contains a verbal. This mainly contains of reading comprehensions and the grammars used in English such as sentence corrections, articles, and prepositions. So understand what exactly you are preparing for because the companies like TCS, Infosys, Wipro are tends to focus more on logical reasoning whereas the banking sector focuses more on quantitative analysis. So depending upon the area for which you are preparing for, get the syllabus before you get started with actual aptitude preparation. Gathering the right resources. Now you know that what to prepare for and the next step is getting the right resources. I have often observed that most of the students jump from one resources to another resources every now and then and this will not help you to learn any topic or any of the subject. So I highly recommend you to pick the resource and state right from the start till end to that particular resource. So the biggest question comes in how you can get a right resource to practice the aptitude. So here are the some resources that I will suggest which you can use to practice or learn aptitude exam. Books. We all know that there is a classic book for aptitude preparation that is R.S. Agarwal book. This book can be used for preparation of both placement preparation as well as the financial banking sector preparations. It contains wide variety of topics along with the theories and the formulas which can help you to solve the problem. Websites. There are the websites like Ambition Box and India Bakes which contains topic wise and the difficulty wise problems. You can choose the topic which you want to practice. You can read some theories and formulas and filter out the problem based on the difficulty wise. So these are the best websites which you can follow while learning the aptitude. I highly recommend you to pick the resources that suits your learning style. If you are really comfortable in the videos, you can pick the channels from YouTube. If not, you can choose the books or the website which I mentioned. Build a strong foundation. Start with the basic first. Before you start solving the problems in the aptitude, make sure that you understood all the theories and the formula of every single topic because this will create a base for you while solving the problem. Second, when you start solving the problems of aptitude, make sure that you are starting solving from easy problem first. Avoid jumping directly to the hard problems because solving the hard problems at the beginning will surely demotivate you. Look, aptitude is not a core subject which can be mastered within a week. It's totally problem solving subject. It totally depends upon the ability to solve the problem, which may take time for every single person. So go slowly, go from topic to the topic and slowly and gradually move from easy problems to the hard problems. And of course, don't get sad when you're unable to solve the problem because nobody in this world will be able to solve all the problems. How to practice in a right way? Now we are clear with the basics, formulas and the theories of every single aptitude topic and it's time to start solving the problem. But before we start solving the problem, I already mentioned is we need to start solving the problem from easy topic first. Because if you directly start solving the problem from the hardest topic, it will surely demotivate you. So pick the 20 easy problems dividing equally into quantitative, reasoning and verbal. So every day you have to solve the 20 problems. Now once you get familiar with solving problem, it's time to start solving the problem by keeping the timer. 
because in aptitude test we have to solve the problem in less amount of time also at the same time try to analyze the area in which you are weak whether you are weak in quantitative whether you are weak in reasoning or verbal now once you find out which is the area in which you are weak give it a more time to study more and practice more but also at the same time don't lose the grip on the topics in which you really strong at so this was the small video i wanted to make so that you come to know that how you can prepare for aptitude i hope you at least got some kind of idea to prepare for aptitude just in case if you are new to our channel do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos till then see you in the next video